Markers. All right, so um, hopefully you watched uh, the overview video about markers. These are Prisma colors. Um, again, the big thing about Prismas or any markers that you use is they have the two ends. One is a fine point, one is the thick point. Really helpful. So if you haven't invested in these yet, go buy a set. They're amazing. So again, we're working on vellum paper. We're going to be drawing on both sides. Let's say you've got your basic um, concept down. Um, right off the bat, there's a couple things we're going to want to do with the black marker, like um, run a line under the bottom, run a line around the tires, like that. And again, I'm using the black um, tip, but again, I'm using it like this. I'm like kind of letting it go from thick out to thin. So you need to be comfortable with that sort of process. And again, remember to draw with your wrist or uh, with your elbow, not with your wrist. So don't be sitting there doing this with your wrist. Keep your whole arm locked. Draw from your elbow. All right. So we've got um, some black on there. Let's say. Let's just move ahead um, right to the main color of the car, which is red. All right, so uh, you need to take a quick look right now at a car, and you'll see that there's a main line that goes down the car like this, and that from there on out, it can kind of fade out to the bottom. And that on the front of the car, if it's a 3D view, there's one line that goes on the far edge. And the rest of all this kind of fades in and out, which we're going to do with chalk, which you'll see in another video. Um, so you can see we're going to run this horizon line like that. And again, on vellum paper, you can continue to draw a few different times. So we're laying a couple different layers down like that. Um, one layer here is fine. And now we're going to flip, flip this page over. We're going to draw on this side, okay? So you can see some of our colors already coming through. We're going to add even more on this side of the page. Maybe do a little more lines in it. And we're going to actually draw over the portion that we left open on the other side. We're going to add a little bit more down there. And just a hint at the rear tail light, okay? So let's flip it over, see how that looks. Now you can see it's a little more uniform. We've got a little bit of the shine through right here, a little bit of the shine through there, and just a hint back here. This is really gonna come in handy when we start uh, using the chalk and applying the chalk on top of it because what's gonna happen is that that red color is gonna be bold there and it's gonna start fading when we start using the, the chalk. So that's the first key with your color. And again, I, I've got three different reds here. so. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, the dark red, and then I might throw a couple different tones of uh, lighter red, or maybe even orange or yellow, depending on the uh, on the color. So let's talk about grays. This is something that's kind of weird. You may not want to buy 20 different markers that are all gray, but you may need to. All right, because you've got um, cool gray, uh, and you've also got warm gray. Okay, and um, these are a whole spectrum of grays, uh, 10 sets of each that goes by percent, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So for example, here's a 20% um, cool gray. All right, so you can barely see it. It's, it's not much of a gray. This is a warm gray, 60%. And now this is a, uh, let me find a cool gray. Here's cool gray, 90%. So take a look at this difference. All right, so you can see warm grays have a little bit more of a, of a warm yellowish tone in them. Cool grays have a slightly more blue tone. Warm grays are the kind of grays you're gonna wanna use for shadows along the ground, like that. And also for your tires. Cool grays are for everything else. All right, so if it's something on the ground, make sure you're using a warm gray. If you're doing shadows, flip it over, draw on the other side, okay? So you can see we're gonna throw in some warm gray stuff here. We're gonna throw in some warm gray around the tires, and we're gonna fade it out here as part of the shadow. All right, so let's take a look at that. All right, so pretty cool. You can see like we've got the shadows going on. Um, and again, you're going to be going back and forth with the grays a ton of times. Uh, for the windows, if it's really dark tint, one black line, 
right at the base of the window like that. Draw it on both sides. And then one bold line on the far edge of the window like that. And everything else you're gonna do in this area is gonna be with your Webrel pad and your black chalk. That's how you're gonna get that type of shiny effect. All right, that's really sloppy, I apologize. All right, so those are the basics. Colors, draw on both sides, get good markers with the double-sided um, edges. For some of the ones with the fine point, these are gonna come in handy for things like doing these wheels, you know, where you have a um, shade effect that you're gonna need to accomplish. Um, really getting in there. These are really gonna pay off, so don't uh, underestimate the power of the marker. All right, so um, those are the basics. Draw on both sides. It's gonna pay off later when you start to really see the color pop. And uh, don't go overboard with the markers. If you're not, don't color the whole car with a marker. All right, it's a horrible, horrible idea. Start with that main line, work your way down, and draw a little bit of accents on the edges. Everything else you're gonna do with chalk. All right, so get good markers, get to work. Uh, let's move on. We're going to talk about using colored pencils and some other tricks for drawing cars.